Right, and we gather you've had some good news uh, this week with regard to your knee. Just tell us what's what's happened. Yeah, I had a scan and um, we decided to go down the route of an injection, so hopefully that'll settle it down and I'll be sort of playing in the next few weeks, really. Must come as some, something of a relief. Were you worried it was more serious than that? Yeah, I was a little bit. I think until you sort of get the scan and, and whatnot, then you, you, you're sort of always guessing, but um, touch wood, it's, uh, it's all right at the moment, so uh, hopefully I'll be back playing in the next couple of weeks. So does that mean you're joining training straight away, or do you have to take it <coughs> Not easy? quite. I've got to sort of rehab it, rehab my knee back up and uh, get it sort of strong, and hopefully in the next week and a half, two weeks, I'll be... Uh, so Christmas period you should be okay for all games, yeah? Yeah, definitely, I hope so. If busy been, period. It's a busy period, so it's a good period to play football in and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's been something of a stop-start season for you, hasn't it, really? With, really, really with your knee mo all the time, really? Yeah, but knee and my ankle, um, it's been frustrating. I've been playing when I'm not 100% not fit and that's not doing me any good, the team any good. So um, yeah, I need to get back properly fit, match fit and, and, and push on. So this weekend is the second round of the FA Cup. You must yeah. be hoping for a victory so that yeah, you're available be, for the third round. It would be nice, and I wouldn't lie. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're, they're, I'm sure the boys will, will put the effort in and, and get the result. Yeah. They've actually gone on a, a decent run, of one defeat in eight games. Yeah. So do you, do you feel things are turning around? Here? Yeah, definitely. I think it was just waiting to happen. I guess um, I don't think much much has changed in the training. I suppose the boys and. Um, but in the games, I've, when I've watched, they've looked strong. They've looked. They've looked uh, but much, much better. Yeah. And do you dream of a third round tie against your former club, or um, yeah, I don't <laughs> or anyone in Why not? I don't, any any top league, uh, yeah, top Premier League team would be uh, unbelievable, wouldn't it? So uh, yeah, I think that that's the, yeah. the, the the big thing is though, getting points on the board, isn't it? It's, even though that that win last weekend, it didn't move you up the table any further, or it did bring a few teams back towards you. Yeah, it seems to be like we win and the others win, and um, but. You get three points. You, you, you're going to be you're going to climb the table, but there's not that many uh, points up to the mid-table sort of area, is there? So we're not we're not a million miles off it. Yeah. Do, do the boys still feel confident that they can push on up there? Oh, of course, of course. We're still pretty early days, consider, considering what happened last year. Um, no, I think we, we're we're really confident we can do it. And, and in your absence, the, the other strikers have started scoring, haven't they? Matt Harold well, and David Clarkson last week. Well, that's it. And everyone sort of gets the opportunity in the season I think and they've taken it at the moment and uh, Bido's come in done really well. Um, Matty's obviously got his goal yesterday, his penalty and um, yesterday on Saturday. Um, and Clarky Clarkie come in and played it out of position but done really well. Um, but that's that's the team, the squad we've got. I think that everyone wants to sort of fight and uh, and do well for the team. So. And what odds would you put on uh, John Joe Tilbyn leading scorer going into this uh, hectic period? Well, uh, <laughs> John did, did alright last year, didn't he? Uh, got a few goals as well, so I wouldn't have uh, put it against him, but not maybe so many. Yeah, just missing him and Beardo again on Saturday because of yeah. the suspension, and, and Will Packwood out as well, so it's uh, resources are stretched a bit, aren't you? Yeah, we are. We've well, obviously been stretched the last few weeks, haven't we? So um, I think we got to put this team out, and I think everyone will, will, will work hard. And I guess the experience in the side got a fair bit of experience so I think that'll, that'll bring us through. Yeah and again those experienced lads have had to help some of the younger ones have yeah. But you, you look at the younger lads now and they're kind of become experienced and, <laughs> and that's that's the yeah. way it's gone and it's feel like Tom Lockyer he's done, he's done brilliant when he's, he's played all season. So. They've had to grow up quickly haven't they? Basically? Yeah definitely I think you have to do that as a young lad you, you get a couple of games of sort of leeway and then you, 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 you're sort of part of it then so uh, I think that, that's it's hard, but I think that's, that's what makes players really. We're talking about the young lads, but I mean, this you're relatively young yourself, and you yeah. haven't got too many games behind you anyway. No, no, no. So uh, have you had to do the same as them? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say, really. I, I had to do the same when I went on loan before, and you just have to get on with it. You have to um, think positively. You have to act sort of responsibly, and that's that's how you get on. So uh, it's hard, hard, but if you do it right, I think it's okay.